Hi everybody, hope you're well. I just want to do a quick video today about something very close to my heart and that is my belief in the power of love. I really believe that love is the answer. It is the thing that can overcome anger and fear, despair, darkness. And at the moment, as we know in this world, unfortunately, uh, we have much darkness going on uh, between Russia and Ukraine. And I just thought I'd put this video together to show that we can try and do something in our everyday life that will help ourselves and may well help others. And that thing is to send out love. So what do I mean by that? I mean, if for five, ten minutes a day, if that, you sit in love and send it out, and I'll tell you how to do that um, at the end of the video, um, I believe it can make a difference. Now, firstly, uh, sitting in love can help in three ways. Firstly, it can help yourself. It's been shown that when we sit in a positive emotion and feel a positive emotion, love, gratitude, happiness, we change the biochemistry of our body for the better. It's shown that it can boost the immune system. It brings about uh, beneficial biochemical reactions. So it helps us heal, it helps us grow. So there's that side of it, we're helping ourselves. The next side, and I've spoken about this before, is that when you're in a happy, wonderful, feel good mood, you're in uh, feeling love, um, or gratitude, happiness, whatever, and you meet somebody else, you physically meet somebody else who may not be in such a good place, your vibration, your energy can help them. So it can help raise them up and help take them out of the darkness they might be feeling, make them feel better at whatever level. And that's because we emit an electromagnetic field. We are energy, that's fact. We are all connected, we can't not be because there is no physical barrier between us and the next person. So our electromagnetic field goes out and if we're projecting a field of love and high energy, then the next person will pick that up. And an electromagnetic field is infinite. It just keeps on going, there is no end. So when you look at it from that perspective, when I say if we project it over to say Ukraine in the troubles that are going over there, it's, you can see how it could happen because this field is infinite and we are giving the intention of it going to a certain place. So the way that I look at it is that if we could sit in this uh, place of love for a few minutes every day, as many people as possible around the world, we have the possibility of counteracting all the negativity and the anger and the fear and despair that's going on over there. Now, I had a really wonderful conversation with my very, very good friend, Tanya Kindersley, yesterday. And uh, we had quite a deep conversation about this. And she actually mentions it in her post, which she put up recently, yesterday or today, um, called Solidarity. And the thing was, Tanya made a really valid point in that if I sort of spout this, oh, send out love and we'll cure the Ukraine, and somebody vulnerable took that on board and really tried and then the next day there was some horrible devastation you know lots of people dying it's not beyond the realms of possibility that that person could take it personally and think well i failed you know and make them feel worse so i want to make it really clear about the potential and the thing is when i was talking to tanya my work is always about potential i cannot make anything happen my intention is for the best possible outcome but the way I look at it is I open the door I condition the field which is in in essence like opening the door for the person or the horse or whoever I'm working with to find the information it needs through that door to heal itself but I can't push them through the door I can't make it happen so when I'm talking and working I'm always coming from the side of the potential it's never a, a con you know um a definite um, so I need to make that clear that it is the potential but even if it's only a potential the fact is by sitting in love all of the time you know as much of the time as you can you're helping yourself you might help the person next door and also you're helping you're sending it out to the earth you're sending it out to the Ukraine you can send it out to where you want 
and for me it can also be a help I'm sure you know when I think about what's happening in the Ukraine I can feel a, an anxiety grow in the pit of my stomach with a sort of oh god where are we going with this now what's going to happen but then if you can bring yourself back and sit into that love you dissipate that because that feeling of anxiety is going to cure nothing it's only going to make you feel worse and it doesn't do your body any good either so when you feel that anxiety step back in come back into love send it out so how do you do it very easy technique think of something somebody um, you know a close family member or whoever or a pet horse whatever that you really love that makes you feel happy makes you feel good something that you know you can feel in your heart when you think about them your heart's almost smiling so just think about them and that puts you in the place of the positive emotion of the, the happiness and the love and then think about breathing through your heart now I'm not obviously you're breathing through your mouth or your nose but you visualize that your breath is coming through and coming out and back in through your heart so you're thinking of this somebody you love you're sitting in that love and as you breathe you breathe in and out through your heart visualize it as though it's coming in and out through your heart and what that does it brings you into coherence which is where the, when the systems of the body are all working at the same level so your emotions are um, coherent with your body your brain and your heart are all coherent and that means your body is in a very good place and it, one um, measurable part of this is heart rate variability and what that is is that your heart should be able to change its rate should be changing its rate very quickly you know um, not sticking at one particular beat for a length of time that makes it very static and hard to move out of so when you have a high heart rate variability it means that you are adjustable you can change very quickly and it's a sign of good health and it is actually used as a health marker uh, heart rate variability can be a indicator of the age of your system uh, children have a very high heart rate variability and generally as we grow older it gets lower but this sort of technique can help you counteract that lowering and bring it back up and this comes about from HeartMath um, who have uh, developed this technique and if you go to their website you'll uh, find out all about it there if you need to dig deeper but in basically just think of something you love envisage it coming in and out of your heart and then project it to where you want it could be to a person it could be to the earth it could be to the Ukraine and I know it sounds mad that by doing that we might be able to change something else on the other side of the world but HeartMath again they've been running studies called the Global Coherence Initiative for many years now and they have sensors all around the world and these sensors are picking up the electromagnetic field of the earth and they're um, generating random noughts and ones so the vast majority of the time the what the, their output is um, random but what they found when they've taken the, you know, the results from these boxes back at various times is there's been a change at times where instead of the noughts and ones being random, they are actually um, become more ordered and it's certainly not random. And it was when they started to look at when that time happened, you know, the date it happened, they found that these changes occurred when there was a huge emotional response within the humans around the world. So it could have been the tsunami, um, the Twin Towers, the death of Lady Diana, things like that where there's a massive emotion. It does change the electromagnetic field of the earth, showing that connection of us to it. So if when there is a, an event where you know people are upset and afraid and because of a disaster, it's to me quite logical that if we could get enough positive emotion, we can send that out to the world and we can have an effect because at the moment if we look at the world in general firstly all of the things that are going on with the war and then we've got global warming um, we have all the worries about politics 
you switch the news on even before Ukraine happened, everything is bad news, there's never any good news. And everybody is living in this state of subliminal fear or even fear, full stop. So it's not surprising that that is the sort of energy of the earth. Whereas if we could change that, if we all individually played our part and went, okay, I am gonna do my best to be in this frame of mind as much as possible. And it's not about, you know, I've gotta be in it every single minute. And it's about just now and again, sitting down, putting yourself into that positive frame, that love, compassion, doing the heart breathing technique and sending it out. You can't do any harm and you might do a lot of good. So that's my little message for today, the power of love. I'm sending you peace and love and I'm sending it out there. Um, until we speak again, take care.